All right, this particular rifle that we have here today is a really cool rifle. It's a little bit of an oddity. Uh, visually, it kind of reminds me of a 1022 in a lot of ways, but it predates the 1022 long before Ruger, well, not long before, but before Bill Ruger designed and made the 1022 uh, ubiquitous rimfire rifle that everybody loves. He made these. Uh, this is the Ruger carbine. That's it. That's the name. And it is a semi-automatic in 44 Magnum, which strikes me as being both uh, fantastic and odd. What would compel somebody to look at the 44 Magnum cartridge and say, gosh, this would make a really cool semi-auto? I think they're right. I think it does make a really cool semi-auto, but uh, you don't see a lot of uh, rimmed uh, revolver cartridges in uh, semi-auto rifles. So this cartridge, we're about 55 yards out from a silhouette target. We'll load up five rounds, that's one in the chamber and four in the tube. And we'll see what kind of accuracy we can get from this thing. All right, functions well. Let's go down range and have a look. All right, we're holding just below the neck. So we've got one, two, three, four, looks like one, two, three, four, five. Uh, they're all there. This one's a little bit of a flyer. Otherwise, not a bad shock group, uh, considering the technology and shooting offhand. Uh, Rifle shoots pretty well, it functions nicely. Got a little bit of a recoil, a little more than you would expect from 44 Magnum in a rifle, uh, particularly one that operates uh, as a semi-auto, but it's not unpleasant. Rifle came shipped from the factory with this rear flip-up sight. Uh, I'm not a huge fan, probably because I'm getting old. Uh, the rifle's not so obscure that you can't find some accessories or parts for it. In this case, uh, I was able to find a rail and uh, we have mounted a small one to four power loophole. Uh, I think loophole refers to this as the hogplex. Uh, it's just a small lightweight variable optic, uh, not illuminated or anything like that, but you can get up to four power, which I think for uh, this cartridge is fine. Uh, I'm a big fan of the 44 Magnum and I'm a big fan of the Ruger rifles. Uh, so I was just delighted to be able to have an opportunity to shoot this. To play around with it a little more and see how it goes. There's that malfunction again. Cool rifle. A couple things to note about this rifle. First off, uh, you can't shoot 44 Special out of it. it won't function. Uh, you know, you could maybe shoot 44 Special out of a lever gun, depending on the model. You could certainly shoot 44 Special out of a single action uh, 44 Magnum, um, but it won't work in this rifle. Uh, the other thing is that you're, if you're going to load your own, they've got to be loaded to basically SAMI specs. Uh, you don't want to load it too hot, um, but you certainly don't want to load it below uh, the standard power threshold because again you won't get it to cycle the other thing about loading for this rifle is uh, or just purchasing ammunition is you don't want to use uh, exposed lead rounds you need a jacketed bullet uh, what will happen with exposed lead like hard lead cast lead is that as the rounds pass over the gas port uh, it'll shave microscopic parts of lead 
that will eventually plug the gas port and then that's a hassle to disassemble and clean. Uh, other than that, you know, if you're shooting factory or standard SAMI specs with a good jacketed bullet, it looks like this thing will function pretty well. Uh, they are complicated, so when it comes time to disassemble and clean, just be aware uh, that if you're not super confident, don't take it down past uh, just the bare field stripping.